crack open your juice, butter your biscuits, and tell your mom not to come in, fellas, because this is our time. As Bitcoin right in front of our eyes for the past few months been forming this massive cup and handle pattern, and potentially what is the breakout target of this pattern if in fact this is valid? Bitcoin going absolutely crazy on the one hour, four hour chart. It's been absolutely going parabolic, straight up, guys. Been super insane. Where is this move going? Very exciting. Guys, as we've been talking about for the past few weeks, when these things finally let go, it's going to get wild. And this is a perfect example of this so far. But what if I told you it's about to get even crazier? Are you kidding me? Dude, is he kidding me? Bitcoin continues to face some heavy resistance at a key area uh, historically that we talked about a little yesterday, but we really need to dive head first, toes first into this data. And guys, historically, these halvings have been beautiful for Bitcoin. And now we are less than just a, we're just a few months away from this next halving. And usually we get that little curve into it. And guys, sure, we sure are getting a curve. But what if I told you this time could be the most crazy curve of all time? So much to talk about. Uh, good thing I brought this napkin because we need to clean this up. Let's get into it. Wow, uh, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to this very exciting episode. So many things to cover. In fact, I actually want to talk a little bit about altcoins because guys, a key indicator, you might have seen this a few hours ago, early today, something beautiful is happening with the altcoins across the board. Altcoins have been climbing as this pattern continues over the past few weeks. This has been crucial. Altcoins have also been doing well. A uh, very good indicator for Bitcoin. And very importantly, Litecoin. Litecoin has been doing extremely well. And as of today broke a key area and there is some massive room for some massive upside, even potentially a target of $80 coming this week. Absolutely beautiful guys. And now we really do think, uh, as we were watching the charts today, we actually saw Litecoin break out and Bitcoin continue guys. So there's so much to get into uh, along with everything that we talked about at the beginning, but guys, this is it. This is the final day to enter. Two winners will be chosen tomorrow to win these ledgers. And all you have to do is leave a comment below. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a subscribe, turn on those notifications, ding that bell, and do not fret, if you don't win this giveaway, three more ledgers. We'll begin that giveaway tomorrow for three more ledgers, all different colors as well. Uh, and depending on who wins, the winners get to pick which color they want. Okay, now that's what I'm talking about. Guys, let's start off with the altcoins here. And then we have so many things to get into. You see Litecoin clearly, this was the resistance right around this area. Okay, right around the 64-ish dollar. And Litecoin is currently $68. We actually talked about this in last night's episode. So really important here. Okay, this is a beautiful thing to see it break out. We could see this thing absolutely climb all the way up to $80 would be the next major resistance zone. Okay, now let's look at this. How would this transpose on a Bitcoin if something like this would happen? Okay, from where we're at now, another, let's say about 12, 10%. Let's just real quick for fun, look over on another 12, 10% burst on, on Bitcoin, what that would look like. That would put us above the 10K level, which is absolutely crucial. So it doesn't look like too much on this Litecoin chart, but guys, keep in mind, that would be huge for Bitcoin. Above 10K is huge. And there's so many things we have to get into that correlate with that on Bitcoin's chart, but that is must watch. That is must watch. We have to look out for this. Now guys, I want to draw your attention to this, okay? A cup and handle formation. Let's actually pull up the old trusty cup and handle breakout, kind of similar to what these breakouts look like. They have a lot of different shapes. Some have descending necklines or tops of the cups. Uh, they can be formed in various different ways and they're usually bigger patterns, okay? The rounder the bottom, the better. And that's not even just for charting. Am I right, brothers? Did somebody say rounded bottom? Okay, pound it. You know I'm always down for a good time. Hey guys, the cup should be a U-shaped and resemble a bowl or rounding bottom. A V-shaped bottom would be considered too sharp of a reversal to qualify. The softer U-shape ensures the cup is a consolidation pattern with valid support at the bottom of the U. The perfect pattern would have equal highs on both sides of the cup, but this is always not always the case. So let's pull up our pattern right here. This is actually pretty close, okay? I drew it, this is if it was uh, the first scenario here, that doesn't necessarily have to be, but I actually wanna drop this down a little bit. I actually would think it would be a little bit more like this, okay? Either way, actually, in fact, I wanna, I kinda wanna draw it a little more like this to get the very top of this breakout here, okay? So it looks as though we have began the potential breakout of this, if this is in fact a pattern. Now there is one thing I wanna note, most of the price action on the bottom here is very much consolidated in this tight area with clearly some, some moves out of it. So again, uh, I think that's why people haven't been talking about it as much. It's not a very pretty bottom, but overall this potential macro pattern is valid in my opinion. And not to mention, we have a very, very nice potential handle. This is like a textbook handle. Even though the bottom isn't perfect here, we have a very nice handle and we are still receiving that breakout. So guys, a breakout target actually, uh, it's pretty simple enough, is usually from the top of the cup here, here and you kind of transpose that over to here. Now these breakouts aren't usually like straight vertical like this, so we're gonna tilt it a little bit, tilt it a little bit. And again, this probably actually goes on 
uh, a little bit longer. So it'll probably be around like, you know, it would take a few days, maybe a few weeks to actually fully uh, see a breakout of this cup and handle if this is in fact what it is. Okay, guys, this is this is kind of speculative, but it is very interesting to note. But again, again, would put us above that 10K, even 11K, uh, actually to 12K if this entire pattern played out. Now that is crucial, okay? But still a little bit of ways from our ultimate goal here, uh, right here of breaking this previous high uh, from 2019. The high of 2019, right around that 14K mark right here, that is the goal right there. So guys, absolutely vital to take a look at. Now here is what I've been watching all day. This is what I've been spending a lot of time watching. That was weird. Oh, wow, it looks like a ghost chart has appeared, fellas. Wow, look at that. Uh, interesting. So this is what I've been spending all of today pretty much watching is this one in four hour chart, just because you're seeing all the data kind of as it plays out, right? Now you notice within this channel, this is a very clear upward channel, okay? This thing is just going straight up. Okay, we spend time in the bottom of these four sections, bounce all the way to the top, bounce essentially all the way to the bottom, bounce all the way back to the top, bounce all the way back to the bottom, and currently we're finding some overhead resistance right here, kind of in the middle of this trend. So I, th I don't think, mark my words, fellas, I don't think we're going to be spending a lot more time within this lower quadrant, if you will, uh, this lower quadrant of these charts here. I do think we're going to see more of a move soon. This was absolutely interesting. I was tweeting, actually, as this was happening. I was tweeting as this was happening. So you see here we had that break out of this, con this consolidation pattern here on the one hour. And then you see this massive, indecisive, one way or the other here, from 94 all the way down to 91 in about like a period of a minute or two. Very, very, very quick, very volatile. I was like, wow, that was crazy. And that was right after the initial uh, trying to break here. This was actually where it broke. Okay, you see this was like the high here. It finally got above that and it just went zoom straight down. But then obviously we did continue up. And now we're actually kind of testing that again right now as we're making this video right now. Kind of still testing that same area here. Guys, absolutely crucial. I actually did want to show you this. A shout out to uh, Stockline Bling made this very hilarious meme. I actually love this. Guys, take a moment to look at this. Pause the video if you want to look at this. Uh, guys, if you have any memes that you want to send my way, oh my good golly goodness, definitely tweet them to me and I will give them a retweet. I just love memes. Uh, Rick and Morty is a pretty good show. I haven't seen many episodes, but I've seen a few and boy, it's pretty good, guys. So yeah, make sure to follow me on Twitter. Link is in the descriptiones. So guys, absolutely beautiful watching this, okay? Now this is on these smaller time frames, so I've just been having a blast watching this. And now if we zoom back out, actually, and you can see, uh, this actually goes back to, uh, this is actually the 1st of January. So even though this is on the one hour chart, right here is the beginning, uh, literally a month ago, the beginning of 2020. And now you see we had a parabolic increase. Uh, okay, let's actually redraw that. Parabolic increase, down consolidation pattern, increase, down consolidation pattern, parabolic increase. And it seems to be getting bigger each time, almost like some sort of uh, repeating fractal, okay? So I'm absolutely astonished. I'm very excited for the next move. Uh, I do think at any moment, guys, you guys know me, when there's pumps, there's dumps, and when there's dumps, there's pumps. At any moment, we could get a nice retracement like we've been getting according to these fractals, okay? You see kind of big pump, dump, big pump, dump, but then there's always consolidation into a new pattern, and it breaks up. So very, 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 very exciting there. So again, guys, I would still like to see, it's still possible that you go back and test down the 87, 8700, as we've been absolutely going parabolic for the past four days, basically, uh, from 83 to 95, just been going straight up for like four days. But now I want to draw your attention to this, guys. Now this is very crucial here. This is something we've been testing for a little bit now. This whole area, it's been about three or four days here. We, we really have, are fine and we've slowed down quite a bit right around here. Now, again, we covered this a little yesterday, but this is crucial from a macro trend for so many reasons. This is basically the highs of 2019, or sorry, not the, not the highs of 2019, but the highs of this uh, move halfway through the descending channel here. We had a wick up to like 10.5, but most of the area was spent under 10K right here. Now this is crucial. We really want to break this macro trend because we broke this, we broke this descending channel, but one thing we haven't broken into these horizontal resistance, resistance and support lines, which again, can be absolutely huge. If I draw a line straight through here, that was not, here, let me redo that. If I draw a line straight through here, you see that this straight line connects uh, dozens of times here, here, this entire descending triangle, okay? Very many times there. And we're spending a lot of time trying to get above that. But remember guys, we have bullish news on our side. Broke the 200 moving average. Uh, let me actually go to the 21 weekly, 21 weekly moving average. Where are we? Right here, all the way down to 83 guys. Absolutely looking beautiful. Okay, so we have so much good things on our side. And in fact, when you zoom out, you can see on the weekly chart, this was one of the highest bounces, one of the main bounces before actually confirming this massive descending triangle of 2018, the huge one, okay? Back in April, there was still some optimism that we could get a bounce during all of this, but as soon as it got rejected right about here, went down here, and then consolidated for months and months, such a boring time period back here, by the way, guys, remember this? September and October of 2018, my good golly gracious, one of the most boring times in crypto that I've ever experienced. So boring, 
Look at some of these candles. They like barely moved. Like they moved like a few bucks, okay? So boring. Um, so this was one of the big areas. And right now we're right here as well, okay? You can see this green line extending over from where we are right now, you see? Green line, and here we are right here. Very key area. So important, and we're just trying to break it again. All the bullish indicators right now are showing that this is very bullish long-term. This is all very bullish reversal stuff. Very important, very key. We just need to see that momentum. Uh, and again, guys, we talked about a massive weekly candle. Uh, this week is coming to a close very soon, but we could still see this candle uh, absolutely blow up, okay? We could see another candle this size. This was about a $2,000 candle, okay? A $2,000 candle from this would be actually about, right, actually literally the target of that cup and handle that we talked about in the beginning of the video, up to 10.5. This would be the size of it, and guys, that would be beautiful. Okay, so that's the most bullish scenario I'm looking out for. Keep in mind, all of these things are important. You gotta factor them all in together. But there is so much beautiful things going on in this chart. It is so hard to not be excited. It is so hard to not just wanna um, maybe maybe grab a girl you love and take her out and kiss her in the rain um, and just share a special moment with the person you love. My gosh, I almost just brought a tear to my eye. Wow. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. Remember, enter for the giveaway. This is the last one. Oh, in fact, I got so excited, I actually did just want to talk about this at the end of the video. I got a little teary-eyed there, guys. Thank goodness for Mama's Juice, because it brought me back on track. This is key, okay? I want to, I want to spend a little bit of this before we, get, before we exit the video. This is such an important thing here. As you guys can see, going all the way back past 2012, this line, okay? We want to see Bitcoin get back above this, but now Bitcoin has gotten so crazy in terms of how much percentage-wise it goes up and to keep on track with this, that it would be, have to be $30,000 sometime in or around the having for this to even look like a valid trend now that is huge that is very high do i think that is completely likely um honestly guys i think that's a huge possibility i could just be some crazy boy uh chubbing up on a little too many gummy worms but guys i truly believe that this pattern is going to see we're going to see parabolicness again guys now i've been in this market for three years um three years now actually it might be a little over three years and i know the sentiment I remember of 2017, people want this bullishness and people have been absolutely not given that, okay? But again, there will be a time, in my opinion, when the public will be given the ultimate bullishness and a massive increase. And guys, patience will be rewarded. That's basically, uh, I could sum that statement up like that. Patience will be rewarded. So many people have dropped out. So many people have lost interest. Believe me, I know them in my life, okay? I know some of those people that have dropped out. But guys, it is important with anything that you do in life. I don't give financial advice, but in fact, I'm gonna drop some life advice right here. Patience, and it's overstated. It's a little, uh, you know, you say it too much. Patience, okay? Life is about patience, and you can be rewarded. So guys, thank you so much for joining me here for this special episode. I uh, love you guys. Make sure to have a good Friday. Make sure to tune in for tomorrow's video to enter for the new giveaway of three and to check out who wins these two bad babies. Uh, talk to you later. Peace.